Hi, I'm Dave Faulkner. Today we're looking at the Wood Creek 4 in 1 wood pellet grill. Very excited about this. I've been using it a few times. We're going to check out all the features and take it apart. So, we're looking at the, the Wood Creek uh, 4 in 1. It's a wood pellet grill. It's not the traditional design, it has this, uh, this bulkhead kind of grill design with a uh, appliance grade viewing window. Uh, it doesn't have the smokestack on the side that kind of has a pitch so that the, the smoke kind of flows through and then goes out through the back as opposed to you know getting pulled out through a pipe on the side. It's got uh, LED display and it's got Bluetooth. Uh, it has this double wall line right here. It's got a great gasket sealer. So it's not, it's a, it's a really nice high grade. It's not uh, cheap. It's not like um, some of them have no sealers. Some of them have rubber sealers that kind of easily come off. Um, it has these uh, cast iron grates. This grate here flips up, but we're going to have at this grill and kind of really get into the, the nitty gritty of it. So this is the uh, where the pellets go in the pellet hopper. It's got a really nice heavy gauge. It's a great side table you can store things on as well. Uh, open it up. I've got some uh, Cuisinart maple bourbon pellets from Walmart. Easily filled, 30 pounds. It also is where you store your probes. It has these little side panels where you can uh, you can stick them in, wrap the wires around, and store them for later. And in the back, I'll show you a little bit later, but there's a quick release so you can switch out your pellets. If you want to go from, from maple to hickory to mesquite to whatever you want to, you can uh, remove what you have remaining and, uh, and put in new pellets in and out really easily. Okay, so beyond the pellet hopper we were just looking at, this is the fire pot release. Any of the ash in there, you just click on, this goes up. Pull this out and that does a release into a tray underneath pretty quick and easy cord storage is right here fuse over here uh, this is where we're going to do a release in a second this is actually the uh, the insert griddle so what i'm going to do now the quick release i just talked about with the pellets so that you can get them up that easy all right, so moving down towards the back of the grill here, we've got that ash clean out that I just showed you. Oh, and clearly I haven't cleaned it out. Whoops, I'll get at that. Uh, but there's your ash clean out, kind of slides right in underneath with that quick release. Then over here on this side is the grease trap. I haven't cleaned that either. So nice and cold up here in New England though, so it gets all nice and, and gummy. I can just scoop that right up. And then moving up the back, here's the sensor for the uh, LED screen. And then as I talked about before, the smoke kind of comes out the, this whole panel, this whole side panel. So it circulates around and then it kind of comes out the back. The, on the other side, we showed you the, the flat top insert. This is the barbecue charcoal insert. Beneath that is the ceramic insert. I haven't used any of the inserts yet. So we're gonna get at that today. I've only smoked on this, uh, on this pellet grill. And also uh, as you move up, there's this great side table and these pegs for uh, hooking your accessories on there. Um, as I mentioned before, there's that uh, that viewing window. We got a stainless steel upper grill. Uh, then we have these cast irons, and they all lift out. All three side by side lift out. Put them off on the side here. Uh, this side here, this is where you pop this out, and you can put the, all the inserts right here. The thing I love about these two is that they're, the heat plates are really heavy duty. This tool right here scrapes anything off, it comes, it comes right off. I have a slop sink in my basement, I just kind of scrape everything in there, throw everything out. And uh, we have these two uh, halogen interior lights too, they're in the back. Uh, that's a really helpful tool as well, especially if I want to use the window, I don't want to open up the grill, I can turn the lights on and I can see what's happening in the inside. So we just plug this in and we're going to get this started up. So we've got this great LED screen here. It's pretty easy to read because it has this kind of greenish blue background. So even when the sun's beating down on it, it's pretty easy to read. Um, you know, we set it at 275. It's, it's uh, starting to climb a little bit more, little by little. You can see the igniters on. Once we get this fully fired up and through the startup process, what I'll do is uh, I'll put the probes in and you can see how those work. And then uh, we'll start firing off some things on the uh, inserts that I haven't had a chance to use just yet. Uh, also, again, here's that, that button for the light on the interior. So those are the lights. You can kind of see them there. If you bend over, you can see your meats and everything on the inside with the lights in the background. 
So I'm going to use the Cuisinart Easy Connect app. Click on that. Get a nice beautiful picture here. Uh, it's going to find devices. You don't need to be on Wi-Fi. It's just a, a Bluetooth connect. I hit pair. Continue. On the and there we go. There's our current temp right there, 274. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one of the probes. All right, so probe number one. Plug that right in. Put it up on the top shelf here. We're back here. So here we are. That was inside. It's pretty cold here up in New England. So uh, it's quickly rising, though. You can see that uh, that probe temp. Later on, when we do some other uh, techniques, we're going to insert them into into various meats. And you'll be able to to see two different probes at the same time. But uh, it's coming up pretty quick. It's also down here. If you don't have the app or you don't have your phone on you, everything is is also on the actual screen. So real easy to use. So now I'm going to go into shutdown mode. I'm going to turn this uh, dial all the way to off. The fan is going to continue to run. You can you can hear the fan kind of going. Shut these lights off too. Um, I'm going to put the probe back into the into the hopper too. But once this goes through the final cycle, the fans go and the auger is still moving a little bit of pellets in there. It's going to cool everything down about 10 minutes. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to lift this up and empty out all the fire pump. Here, all the fuel is out. You can actually hear the fan has already started to slow down. I'm going to let that run a little bit more and then I'm going to uh, dump again. Let everything cool off in the back and remove the ash. All right, so the uh, the fan is cycled and the the grill is is off. It's gone through the uh, the final cycle and the final shutdown. I'm gonna unplug, wrap that cord up, I'm gonna clean out the ash. So thanks for watching. Those are first impressions on the uh, the Wood Creek uh, 4-in-1 pellet grill from Cuisinart. Um, and we're pretty much going to end it there. I just want to say that uh, I always cover my grill. I, you know, I live up here in, in uh, New England and it's got snow, rain, all sorts of weather. You never know what's going to happen every five minutes. So uh, you have some heavy duty ones uh, that are specifically for this grill due to the size of it. It's a big grill. I think it's a 70... 70 inch uh, cover that goes over the grill. But always protect your investments and uh, we'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks so much.